Oh, hi. I didn't see you come over. In this lab, we're going to be talking about different kinds of reactions. We're learning about physical and chemical reactions. And the big question in this lab is how to tell if a reaction is a chemical reaction. Let's go take a look. Here is what you'll need for the chemical reaction experiment. Two large containers with lids and two small containers with lids, disposable gloves, ammonia, Epsom salt, a graduated cylinder, a tablespoon, a wooden or plastic spoon, water, table salt, an iron nail, white vinegar, baking soda, a teaspoon, four tarnished pennies, and some paper towels. Throughout this experiment, be sure to wear the disposable gloves to protect your hands. For reaction one, you'll be combining Epsom salt and ammonia. This is ammonium sulfate plus magnesium hydroxide. Fill a large plastic container with 200 milliliters of ammonia. Add two tablespoons of Epsom salt and observe the reaction. Be sure to stir with a clean spoon. Write down the results. Then cover it and let it stand overnight. Observe and record any reactions that might happen overnight. In the second reaction, you'll be combining iron and oxygen to produce iron oxide. Put a moderate amount of water in one of the large containers and add one tablespoon or 15 mils of table salt. Stir with a plastic or wooden spoon. Put the iron nail in the container, cover it, and leave it overnight. The next day, observe and record any changes that might have occurred. Now for reaction three, you'll be combining baking soda and vinegar to produce sodium acetate plus water plus carbon dioxide. Pour 15 mils of vinegar into a small container. Add two teaspoons of baking soda and stir with a clean spoon. Observe and record any reactions that might occur. For reaction number four, you're going to combine copper plus oxygen to create copper oxide. First, to create a weak acid, add one teaspoon of table salt, and two tablespoons of vinegar, to one of the small plastic containers. Stir with a plastic or wooden spoon. Now add the four tarnished pennies. Put the lid on the container and allow it to sit for about an hour. Then use a clean spoon to take out the pennies. They should appear cleaner. Put the pennies on some paper towels to dry. Observe and record if the tarnish, that's copper oxide, returns. For your analysis, report the changes that occurred for each reaction. Identify observations that you think could be used to identify that the change was a chemical change and not a physical one. 